What is your problem? Hi, it's Tuesday. You're watching Tasty Tuesday. Show is Tuesday. Try to make something tasty. Sometimes it works. We're making something vaguely Italian today, so this is fitting for it. Cheers. So last week on Tasty Tuesday, we made something very healthy. This week, not garlic knots. <laughs> Wow, we're starting off already. I'm so sorry. Last week when I was eating soup, I was like, wow, this could really use some bread, even though that would make the gluten-free recipe entirely filled with gluten. But it's the third week of January. I feel like we're not pretending to be healthy anymore. Let's have some garlic knots, man. Live your life, you know? You ain't gonna live your entire life and not have garlic knots in it? That's sad. That is sad. We're not gonna do that over here in Shea Limo. So I found this recipe. It looks easy, kind of. It looks delicious, very. And hopefully it works, you know? Let's make this dish. Whoa, you need to chill. First off, can I just say that I can't tell you how good it feels to not be planning a wedding this year. I thought that I was just a human constantly filled with anxiety and on the brink of crying every day. Turns out it was just a human planning a wedding. I feel great this year. So first step of the recipe, don't plan a wedding. Second step, we're gonna take a cup and a half of warm water. Hey, are you warm? Ooh, that's hot. Okay, somewhere in the middle. Let's meet in the middle, buddy. Into this warm water, we will dissolve two tablespoons tablespoons of sugar. Look, I pre-measured it. Do you have a boner? This is sugar. And one tablespoon of active dry yeast. It's 2.5 teaspoons, one tablespoon. I didn't measure this. I'm so sorry. I'm like half good at what I'm doing right now. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. It's exactly one tablespoon. Yay. It's like they know how much is needed to make bread. Okay. It's like a little less than a tablespoon, but we're not going to tell anybody. Get in there, you. Am I supposed to stir this? I've done this before. Did I stir it? I can't remember. Stress. I feel like I wasn't supposed to stir that. We'll find out. We're gonna let this sit for five minutes until it gets foamy or not. If it doesn't get foamy, then we fucked up. But if it does get foamy, we'll move on to the next part. I feel like I was supposed to pour the sugar in and, and mix it and, and then pour the yeast in and not mix it. Just for you guys out there who aren't drinking wine and are doing the recipe sober. Good news, it got foamy. Look at that. So next we're gonna take a bowl or the bowl of a stand mixer. Now you just get to enjoy the perks of having had a wedding. Good thing you planned all that, you stress monster. Into our bowl, we are gonna put four cups of all-purpose flour. Flour you doing? Good, I hope good. 2018, doing well for you? Great. Excuse us, we're having a conversation. I always tend to put too much flour because I scoop my flour with a cup instead of spooning it. It just takes so long to spoon it. I just would rather fail. That's the extent of my laziness. Maybe you just add a little less flour at the end. Three. Like this cup is gonna be not a full cup, maybe. And then we'll have the right amount of flour. Haha, -ha, cheating the system. Take that. One and a half teaspoons salt. Whoa, this got way more foamy. Are you impressed by me, Dad? Okay, the last ingredient to put in this bowl before the um, yeast mixture is three tablespoons of butter or earth balance. I'm using earth balance. It doesn't say melted butter, but they have a picture of the, them adding the butter and it looks melted in the picture. So now I'm conflicted. I just want to do a good job and I very much don't know what the right thing to do is. Hey, that's life. Great, I think I'm gonna melt it and go with the picture version. It's kind of helpful they have like tablespoon markings on there for you. They're like, hey, if you're drunk, just follow the lines, Nikki, just follow the lines. And I'm like, oh, thank you, some kind of butter. What a saint. Okay, we're gonna melt this. I'm just gonna put this on the side here. And then I made a well for the yeast mixture to go in. It doesn't say to do that, but again, it shows it in the pictures and I've used yeast mixtures before and you had to make a well, so I'm going by that. Ha, huh, I learned. Oh, you can't tell it's a well. There's no depth in this. There's the edge and it's the well. That's a well. Okay, some of the butter got into the well, but that's okay, I think. We're gonna pour our yeast mixture into this well. Oh, it's overflowing the well. Oh my gosh, okay. I don't think it matters. Does it matter? It's a hot mess in here. Great. I think we're doing a good job. The recipe title says easy, so foolproof. Okay, I feel like we were supposed to add baking powder. Hold on, hold on. Oh, yep, yeah. oh, we were supposed to add baking powder before that. Okay, well, dial it back. Oh gosh, please don't look this fail. I was so confident at the beginning of this video. I was like, this gonna be easy. So pretend that I didn't put the yeast mixture in. We're gonna put one teaspoon of baking powder. Powder you doing? Remember, cause like before? We gonna save this. It's gonna be good still. I'm just putting it in the dry area. Put your attachment on. This says one hour garlic bread rolls, but um, it'll probably take me like an hour and a half. Most of what I'm doing is figuring out how to do things. Now we're gonna use our stand mixer and make it do things for us. Go. 
faster, faster. Okay, so that formed a ball of dough like pretty much right away. This thing is, you are quick. Wow, worth planning weddings for. Oh, maybe I should take my rings off. Please don't yell at me. I'm taking my rings off. I'm learning, I'm new. Okay, now what? Gather the dough and make it into a ball. Okay, this is a pretty sticky ball of dough. Maybe I shouldn't have done less than a cup on the flour of the last part. I'm not sure. They're both sticky. Now I wanna check and see if the picture is sticky, but my hands are sticky, so it's gonna be challenging. I don't think their ball is that sticky. I think I didn't put enough flour in. I'm gonna add more flour. This year I'm being an intuitive chef. Cook, chef. There we go. Okay, every other time I've used dough, they like oil the bowl a little bit, but this doesn't say to do that, but I feel like I should do that, right? Should I do that? This year I'm being an intuitive chef. Cook. Yeah. How do you like me now? How do you like me now? I don't feel like that did anything. You go in there, be good, have fun, be safe. We're gonna cover this, don't worry. I got it covered. I'm dying slowly. Let that sit for 20 minutes. You do you, boo. Okay, while that is resting for 20 minutes, we're gonna make a garlic butter. Garlic herb butter. Mm -hmm. To do this, we need one stick of butter, preferably softened. This is relatively soft. It's, it could be softer. I've had softer. One and a half teaspoons of garlic salt. You can substitute fresh garlic and salt if you want. I'm not. One teaspoon dried basil. One teaspoon dried parsley. Make sure you get it all over your counter so that you have a lot to clean up later. Or else it doesn't count. Er, counter. You chose to stay here. And one teaspoon dried oregano. Oregano way. We did it. Kind of. You're still here. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take what we just put into this bowl and we're gonna mash it with a fork. And we're gonna fork shoot up. Oh yes, the butter would be much better. It'd be much better if it was softer. Okay, cool, this is fun. No, this is fun for me. No, I like it. I like things to be difficult. I feel like I thrive off the struggle. How lucky for my life to give me so much struggle. Okay, see you in a little bit when this is risen. Hello, it's been 20 minutes now and supposedly our dough should have doubled in size. Let's see if that happened. <gasps> It didn't. It like got a little bit bigger. Okay, so we didn't do that. Okay, fuck. This was supposed to be an easy recipe. Um, so it says if it didn't double to leave it for another 20 minutes. What is your problem? You're making it look bad. Okay, so we're gonna leave it for another 20 minutes. It grew like a like a third more than it was before. It's like 30% more. Not quite double. So You get that instead. Hi, huh? pretty good. See you in 20. Hi, okay, it's been like nine minutes and I'm sick of waiting. So we're gonna look at this and this is, but it grew. I think it's grown, this grown. We're doing it. So now we're gonna take our dough that has doubled in size. It says to lightly punch it. I don't know if I feel completely comfortable with that. This is literally what the picture looks like. Ah, I'm the patriarchy. We're gonna section this dough off into 18 little balls. It doesn't say the exact size of them, but it, from the pictures it looks like it's about this size, maybe. We'll see. We're all figuring this out together. It's fun, it's like a game. Basically, I think you wanna get about the size of a bread roll before it gets bigger in the oven. Yeah, good description, Nikki. Six, seven, Oh, that's too big. That's what she said. <laughs> okay, we got there. 18. Cheers. So we're going to make each one into a ball, and we're going to flatten them out. Then we're going to take our garlic butter spread. Remember that thing that we made? Yeah, it's coming into play now. We're going to put one thin layer onto our flattened dough ball piece. Then we're going to roll our thing into a log. Yeah, baby. So now it's a log. It looks like this. Great. Then we're going to take the ends of it and make an O, like an O shape. And then with this O shape, we're gonna pinch the ends of it. Make another shape. Might have over buttered this. Yeah. Then we're gonna flip it over and it's like this, but better when you do it. And we're gonna put it into our, we gotta grease this first, wait, wait, wait. hold on, hold on. Don't look yet. All right, now you can look. We're gonna take a baking pan that looks like this. It's like a round donut -y pan. And we're gonna grease it, lightly grease it. Yeah. Then we're gonna take our thing that we just made and we're gonna put it into the lightly greased pan. Yeah! And then we're gonna do that 17 more times. 
picked a really easy recipe this week. Yay. Okay, see you 17 more times later. I don't know how long that will take. We pretty much played out all the dough puns that you could make. See you in 17 times. Hi, okay, so I buttered and I rolled all of the doughs um, into knots. While we were doing that, I should have told you to preheat the oven to 350 degrees Fahrenheit. I did that, it's ready now. I'm just gonna top the tops of these with some more butter. When in doubt, just add more butter in life. Also, this recipe supposedly takes an hour to make. In what dimension? Cause not this one. We probably have 40 minutes to do all of these. So there you go. If you're a pleb in your own kitchen, it will not take you an hour. It will take you much longer. <laughs> all right, we're gonna pop these in the oven for 15 to 20 minutes and hopefully we'll have delicious treat after. Hopefully. Timer, do your thing. I'm gonna make some pasta to go with this. See you in 20. It's been 20 minutes and I think our bread knots, our garlic knots are done. They are golden brown on the top. Excuse me, can you just be easier to grab? Oh my gosh, oh my goodness. This is a heavy pan. Okay, yeah. So are you done? Oh yes, hopefully not too done. I made some pasta to go with our bread knots. The last thing we're gonna do is just, I melted the rest of the butter that was in the garlic herb butter mix, and I'm just gonna brush it over the top, like I'm on an episode of Chopped, and I know what I'm doing, kind of. Yeah, this actually looks really good. I'm actually very impressed with the way this turned out. It's probably like really unhealthy for you, but you know, sometimes you're good, and sometimes you're naughty. <laughs> Garlic naughty. Garlic knots. You're still here. You're the one that's still here. Oh my goodness. These look amazing. This was worth everything. Well, let's taste it first and then we'll decide if it was worth everything. Aesthetically? Holy shit. Killing it. Worth everything. Check it out. I don't think one single person can tell me that does not look amazing. This looks amazing. Thumbnail. Let's see if it tastes amazing. Uno momento, por favor. Uno, another momento. Yes. Yes, yes, these are wrecking the whole game. Oh my good, oh my garlicky goodness. Let's see if these are tasty. We just got rid of our Christmas tree centerpiece, so don't mind the pine needles on our dining room table. You didn't have to point it out. <laughs> You busted us. I did because I didn't want any commenters to think that they did that we didn't know and that they do we That's didn't true. know. Yeah, That's so true. just so you know, we woke to that. We know about it. We okay. know about it. Happy Tasty Tuesday on to you. Happy Tasty Tuesday. And on to you. your family. Yes. Yeah. Um, so this is that's what you're eating is not the Tasty Tuesday meal. That's just pasta that's accompanying what? these pull apart garlic knots. So the garlic knots is the focus. Yes. This is the upper This is the upper yeah, that's the upper. Usually that's the app. Yeah. Well, that's well. Good this for you. Day, doesn't this look way fancier than? Yeah, they're hot. Well, they're pasta? hot as well, but this is just some regular spaghetti like pasta. Ah, they're hot, bud. Yeah, be careful. The pan is hot. I guess we should have waited like 10 minutes so it could yeah, cool down. Yeah, look at But like, <laughs> it's very hot. Oh, smokes. But normally you could pull it apart with your fingers. No, well, I want to try the pasta first because like it's stinging. Why? Up. Holy shit. Yeah? That's so good. Really? That's really good. Wow, that's like one of the biggest reactions you've had on Daisy Tuesday. Because I'm real. This is actually amazing. Damn, would you say that's tasty? Shit yeah, I would. Holy crap, that's a great reaction. This is really good. <laughs> It's tasty. I haven't tasted it yet, but it's tasty. Is this from scratch? Yeah, yeah, wow. I made the dough from scratch. That's really good. Let's make a freaking pizza out of it. I want to try it now. God. Oh my God. Right? It's so fluffy. Yeah, it's really good. It's really fluffy the and airy. The texture's good, the taste is good. Yes. Like if you like garlic knots and garlic bread, you'll you'll love this. Well, if they accepted this whole video, they better like it. Holy shit. This is so good. Right? This, this looks like the best so thing you've it. made, dude. It's so good. The texture is really good. Yeah. And the flavor is really you, good. You like didn't an ingredient or anything. We're just tight. Oh, I added some ingredients later than they were supposed to, but it worked out. Hey, it's all it's all chill. Oh my god, these are so good. Wow. Sometimes it pays to not be healthy. <laughs> Hundred percent. Okay. Well, there you go. Definitely make these. You know, Super Bowl's coming up. People will love that. I bet these would go really well with like the beer cheese dip that I did a couple Tasty Tuesdays ago. That's true. Like a year ago. It'd probably go well with chili or any soups or anything. So you know, play around. It'll definitely go well with mine. We know that for sure. So subscribe so you don't miss any of this and I will see you next time. It's tasty. Good job. Ooh.